Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Please subscribe and keep watching more details. Crisley grandchild has no idea Todd and Julie are in prison. Is there a grandchild who has no idea that Julie and Todd Crisley are currently behind bars? It appears that is the case but is there a reason for the lack of information? More so, what is that reason if there even is one? Read on for more details. Grandchild has no idea Julie and Todd Crisley are in prison. It has not been an easy year since Julie and Todd Crisley headed to separate prisons. Julie went to one in Kentucky for her seven-year term. As for her husband Todd, he headed off to Pensacola, Florida where he has faced deplorable circumstances. Fortunately, Nanny Faye Crisley went to see Todd for the holidays, and though it was not the same, she got to see her boy. He even did an interview from behind bars to share what the conditions were like. It seems he is struggling but they are hopeful their faith will prevail and they will be home sooner rather than later. However, according to a Reddit thread, it seems that Lynn C. Chrisley's son Jackson is unaware of what is going on. Apparently, he has no idea what is going on with his grandparents, which is sad but may be for the best. This is what the OP wrote. I was on the other sub reading and saw that I believe Lindsay Beff Trent, I think that's his name, but I think he is now her ex, ex-wife told her kids to tell Jackson that his grandparents are in prison, which is messed up, because not your business to inform him of that information, and also horrible to involve your kids in that. They went on to note that if Chloe Chrisley can handle this information then so can Jackson. How did Redditors feel about this? She's so busy being a helicopter parent that she doesn't see. I didn't take it as Lindsay saying he didn't know. Lindsay should have told him where Todd and Julie are better to find out from her than a stranger or kids at school. He does know. Ultimately, it did come out that Jackson knows where Julie and Todd Crisley are. Someone wrote this to explain it. It's my understanding that he knows but she felt this was taunting him slash making fun and was inappropriate. Which if that's the case is definitely true, but Lindsay may have twisted the situation so who knows. Another noted that Chloe's parents have had troubles with the law, which is why her grandparents adopted her. Therefore, she may be more well-equipped to deal with this. In any case, it was Lindsay's choice what she told her son, so no one can judge. It was a bright and sunny afternoon in the suburbs of Nashville, and the Chrisley household buzzed with the energy of a typical weekend. Savannah had just finished arranging a bouquet of fresh flowers on the dining table, Chase was attempting to fix the backyard grill with more bravado than skill, and little Grayson Jr., Todd, and Julie's youngest grandchild, was happily playing with his toy cars on the living room floor. At five years old, Grayson Jr. had the lively curiosity of his grandfather and the charm to match. His unruly blonde curls fell over his forehead, giving him a boyish look that made strangers stop and coo wherever he went. However, today, his bright blue eyes were fixed intently on a police car toy he just rammed into a plastic dollhouse. Savannah, the police are at the house. Grayson Jr. shouted, his voice ringing through the house like a bell. Savannah peeked her head into the living room, a knowing smile tugging at her lips. Oh no, what did the dollhouse family do this time? They didn't clean up their rooms, he replied solemnly crossing his arms in a dramatic pose that Savannah could swear was straight out of Todd's playbook. Sounds like they deserve a timeout, she teased, scooping him up and spinning him around. As she twirled him, her heart ached just a little. Savannah had become the glue holding the family together since Todd and Julie's incarceration. She had taken on the role of both big sister and surrogate mom, all while shielding Grayson Jr. from the harsh realities of their world. For now, he thought his grandparents were on an extended vacation, enjoying the beaches of Florida. Asterisk, a child's curiosity asterisk. Later that day, while Savannah was busy folding laundry, Grayson Jr. padded into the room clutching a framed photo of Todd and Julie. It was taken during a family Thanksgiving, both of them smiling broadly, their love for their family radiating from the image. When our grandpa Todd and grandma Julie coming back from their vacation, he asked, tilting his head in a way that made Savannah's heart squeeze. She hesitated, searching for the right words. Well, sweetie, they're staying in Florida for a little while longer. They're doing something very important there. Grayson Jr. frowned. Important? Like what? They're helping some friends, Savannah said carefully. Grandpa Todd is teaching people how to be funny, and Grandma Julie is baking lots of cookies. The little boy's face lit up. 
Grandpa is the funniest, and Grandma makes the best cookies. That's right, Savannah replied, forcing a smile. Brayson Jr. seemed satisfied for the moment, but Savannah knew the questions would only grow more frequent and complex as he got older. Asterisk that unexpected visitor asterisk. That evening, Chase's half-fixed grill finally gave out, sending a plume of smoke into the sky and triggering the fire alarm. While everyone scrambled to silence the blaring noise, a knock at the front door went unnoticed until it turned into a loud banging. I'll get it. Grayson Jr. shouted, racing to the door before anyone could stop him. Savannah rushed after him, just in time to see him standing face to face with a delivery man holding a package. This for the Chrisleys? The man asked, looking down at the boy. Yup. Grayson Jr. replied confidently, though Savannah quickly stepped in to take the box. Thank you, she said, shutting the door quickly. The label on the package read, Federal Correctional Institution. Her stomach dropped. She whisked the box out of sight, praying Grayson Jr. hadn't noticed the label. Asterisk the slip-up asterisk. The next morning, Savannah found herself chatting with Nanny Faye over coffee. Despite her advanced age, Faye had a sharp wit and an even sharper tongue, which often landed her in trouble. So when are you gonna tell him? Faye asked, gesturing to Grayson Jr., who was busy coloring at the kitchen table. Tell him what? Savannah asked cautiously. That his grandparents are locked up tighter than Fort Knox. Savannah's eyes widened in horror. Nanny, she hissed. What he's gotta know sometime, Faye said with a shrug. What's locked up? Grayson Jr. piped up, his ears apparently sharper than they appeared. Savannah froze, her mind racing for a way out. Ah, it's just something silly Nanny Faye was saying. Nothing for you to worry about, sweetheart. Faye shot her a look but wisely kept quiet. Asterisk a grandchild's imagination asterisk. Over the next few days, Grayson Jr. seemed preoccupied, his usual playful chatter replaced by a thoughtful silence. One evening, as Savannah tucked him into bed, he finally spoke up. Savannah, are grandma and grandpa locked up like the dollhouse family? The question hit Savannah like a ton of bricks. What do you mean, baby? You said they were helping friends, he said, clutching his stuffed dinosaur. But Nanny Faye said they're locked up. Do they do something bad? Savannah's heart broke at the confusion in his voice. Oh, Grayson, she said softly, sitting on the edge of his bed. She took a deep breath, deciding to give him a version of the truth that his young mind could handle. Grandma and Grandpa made a mistake, and now they're helping people learn from that mistake. But they love you so, so much, and they're always thinking about you. Are they sad? he asked, his lip quivering. Sometimes, she admitted. But they're also really strong, just like you. And one day, you'll get to see them again and tell them all about your adventures. Grayson Jr. seemed to mull this over before nodding. Okay. I'll tell them I've been really good. Savannah smiled, leaning down to kiss his forehead. They'll be so proud of you. Asterisk a family united asterisk. As the weeks went on, the family worked together to maintain a sense of normalcy for Grayson Jr. They filled his days with laughter, love, and the occasional chaos that was inevitable in the Chrisley household. Savannah continued to navigate the delicate balance of protecting his innocence while preparing him for the day he'd fully understand the truth. And though Todd and Julie were miles away, their presence was felt in every giggle, every family meal, and every bedtime story. Because even when separated by walls, the love of family knew no bounds.